So for this project, you're going to be needing two dishes. Um, <laughs> and I'm using a wine glass, but you can use a cup or something. You're also going to need a glue gun, glue sticks, and whatever you want to decorate the inside this part. Okay, so what you're going to do first is, of course, heat up your glue gun. It has to be very, very hot and not everything is not going to stick. Um, I already did that and then next what I'm going to do is start gluing my makeup in the middle of the where I'm going to place my, my wine glass. And you have uh, a lot of options. You don't have to use makeup. You can use anything that you like to decorate your glass in. Um, you could either just place it closed um, or open it, which I'm going to open it. Another thing that I did was I took the name off and I stuck it to the top because that's the part that I'm going to be showing too. And I'm going to, that's my Chola lipstick. And then you could just play around with your display. You could add you know, something like that. Right. So I'm going to start blowing um, most of the things down, but I will show you how I glue some. But it's just hard to do with one hand. So let me get a head start on that and then I'll show you how I'm doing it. Try to glue it on the edge. Well, it depends on how your eyeshadow is, but this one has like the middle of it kind of raises up. So it won't be touching the plate. So make sure that you put plenty of glue because you don't want it to unstick. And press on it. Okay, next I'm going to glue the top and I want it to be like that. So I'm going to glue it onto the thing first. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and here. And then just stick it on. So once you're done gluing down your makeup, we're going to start gluing down our, our wine glass. I forgot to mention that for the brush, I took the bottom part off just because I wanted, I don't know, I felt like it looked cuter. So again, we just, you know, this is how it's going to look like that. And I'm going to glue the bottom, the rim of the glass to the plate. I'm going to do it the same way that I glued on the That's iPad. what we have so far. Um, my camera's battery ran out, so I have to uh, film it from my iPhone, so I hope the quality doesn't change too much. Anyways, um, so I glued the bottom, the rim of the cup to the plate, and this does hold up. Just give it enough time to dry, and it's, you know, it's sturdy. And now what I'm going to do is you could very well just leave it like that. But um, I got these rhinestones from Target. They were a dollar each. And I'm just going to place them around. Well, my niece. Hi, I'm Yari. <laughs> She's going to help me place them around the cup. Are you a man? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to fill in I just think it adds a little bit to it. It looks super cute. Mm. So you can add as many rhinestones as you like. I'm only going to add the rhinestones from one package, which is 16, and it looks like that. Now we're just going to add our second layer. And I'm just going to apply the glue all right here. Hello. So I'm going to do that. You have to work quickly because the glass is cool. And then when you apply the glue, it dries really fast. That's why I can't film it. But I mean, just place the glue all around here. And then just stick your plate. Oh, not here. Just here. So I'm going to do that really So quick. I finished gluing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so cute. The project is pretty much done. This is still hot because I just put the glue on. So I'm just going to let it dry completely before I start um, adding my stuff to it. You could probably add another layer to it. 
That kind of looks cute. Hmm. I put the cup on top. And I really like how it looked. So I'm going to add it. So it's going to look like that. And I'm going to leave the open side up so that I could um, place either brushes or pencils, something like that. So I'm just going to glue it the same way. You don't have to add this. I didn't even mention this in the things you were going to need because I wasn't even thinking about it. But it just came to me right now. Okay. So like I said, you don't have to glue the top part on. You don't have to. It looks fine. Just the two layers and the cup in between. I mean the, the glass in between. But I just, I don't know, I think like this would be useful for me. Anyways, here's my niece. Hi. And again, she's going to help me out with the rhinestones. Okay, mommy, go ahead. Puedes mover, ok. Amor. So that's the finished product. This is how I'm going to display the makeup. How it looks, how it inside. You can use any color plates. You could use a smaller dish on the top. You can make it higher. You can make it smaller. You could paint it. You can do pink, blue, anything. Decorate it any way you want. If you're going to use it as a jewelry holder, perhaps you can put some rings or stack some bracelets up in there. It would look very pretty. If you're going to use it for perfumes, the same thing, maybe put some empty, an empty perfume bottle or little sample bottles that you get that you, I keep mine, I don't know if y'all keep yours, but you could also use that or anything like that. If you're going to use it for nail polishes, maybe put one in there, an open one, like little brush, just open. I don't know. Just use your imagination. But yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you for watching and don't forget to comment, rate, and sub.